Hi, Angela. Hi, Louise. We're from Kids, Kids Imaginarium. Imaginarium. And guess what we're doing today, Angela? What are we doing today, Louise? We've got three Kinder Surprise eggs there with the chocolate missing. What happened to the chocolate? I think you ate it. Oh, I did. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll share next time. Okay. Well, that's all right, because what we really want to see is what's inside the eggs. Yay. I love the surprises. What about you? Oh, me too. And guess what? The first egg is hatching. Yay. I can't wait to see what it is. What do you think it is? I don't know. I know that it's an animal, but I don't know where it's from or what sort of animal it is. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to open it up. Pop! Pop! Oh, wow! Look, there's two parts to it, Angela. Oh, cool! Let's oh, see. It's grey. What, what is it? Grey and white. Let's have a look. And it's got claws, two ears, a black nose, a white chest. Does it have a tail? No tail. No tail. Let me see. So it can't be oh. a cat. It's definitely not a cat, but you know what it looks like? It looks like a bear. It does look like a bear. Do it, you have bears in America? We do have bears. We don't have bears like you have, though. We have tiny little bears. What are they called? Drop bears. <laughs> no, that's the funny name that some people call them, but what they're really called is a koala. A koala? I've heard of them. They're so cute. They are really cute, and they're really cuddly. They're like little babies that you can just cuddle up into your chest. So they're not dangerous like the bears in the United States? No. They don't attack you and they live in the trees and they eat eucalyptus leaves. Oh, oh okay. So they don't eat people. Oh, that's, that's so good because our bears do sometimes eat people. I know. Your bears are scary. Our bears are cute. Look at him. Oh, he is so neat. You know, I've heard that koalas carry their babies in a pouch in their belly. That's right, Angela, they do. We've got a few animals in Australia that do that. They're called marsupials. Oh, we have marsupials too in the United States. Oh, wow. One's really not as nice as your koala bear. It's called a possum and they're kind of bad because they get in the trash and they mark around at night and they're a little scary. Sometimes they hiss. They're not oh, very friendly. No. Really? And they're definitely not as cute as a koala. <laughs> well... Do you know what? We have some possums too, and I think ours are pretty cute. Oh, lucky you. Yeah, but you know what? I'd like to see what's in the next egg. Me too. Let's open it. I'll put koala bear up here and let you get the next egg. Thank you. Ooh. My favorite part. Pop. Pop. Oh. Yay. Oh, wow. It's in two parts as well. Oh, wow. So I think this is its leg. Yep. Legs and this is the head and oh, it's, oh got, look. it's got two heads. It's got a little baby. Well, let's put it together. Do you know what else I noticed, Angela? It's also got a white chest like the koala. Oh, it does. Oh, I know what this is. Oh, this wow. is famous. It's Australian kangaroo. Oh, wow. You're right. You know what? You know how you said that some animals in Australia carry their babies in the pouch? Yes. Well, look at that. There's one of them. That's so cool. So they carry them in the pouch until they get big enough to hop on their own. That's right. And the mother looks after them and the mother feeds them from the pouch. Yeah. I also know that this is one of your animals on your coat of arms. That's true. Do you yeah. know what a coat of arms is? Yes, it's the, it's the symbol of Australia. That's great. What's your coat of arms in America? Do you have one? We have the bald eagle as our native animal. Wow. I'd love to see a bald eagle. They are quite big and scary. Oh, <laughs> maybe Kinder Surprise will show us one of those. Oh, I hope. We yeah. can keep looking until we find one. That's right. We'll just keep on opening. I'm going to put him back here so you could open the last one. Here I go. The egg is hatching. Yay. Here comes the pop. Ready or not. <coughs> pop, pop. Oh, look. We've got four parts. I'll oh count them. One, two, three, four. This one looks like it might be hard to put together. I think so because there's so many pieces. Let's give it a go. All right. This looks like a tail, I think. Yes. Oh, and it's got a foot on it too. All right. So it's definitely an animal. We know yep. that. Definitely. With a long, long tail. Okay. Okay, now. So this. It's, not, it's not a snake if it has a foot. No, that's a good point. It could be a lizard though, because oh, lizards yeah. have tails and feet. And also, if you look closely, it's got 
scratchy, scaly skin. Oh, okay. Let's see. Does this go on here? I think so. Clip. Oh, almost. I'm having a little bit of trouble pushing this on. There we go. Do you need some help? Yes, please. I think I do. Okay, I think maybe that's its belly. So maybe when we put... Oops. Uh-oh. Oh, I've just broken the whole thing. Oh, uh, this one's quite difficult, I think, Angela, because there's so many pieces to maybe it. Maybe we'll put it on its back. That's a good we'll idea. Try to piece sort together. It out. <gasps> that's maybe, its head. Maybe the head... Look at that. It has out. really, really sharp teeth, too. It's not... It's not someone I'd want to cross in a dark alley. No. Oh my goodness, it is quite difficult. And I've put it on without its head. It's... A headless lizard. There we go. Oh, no. It, do you know? What does it look like? It's got a huge mouth. A long tail. A, a long tail. Four Green feet. tails. Yeah. Do you know, it looks like an American alligator. Hmm, that's interesting. But... We're looking at Australian animals today, Angela. Oh, so it's probably a croc. How do you say a that? Crocodile. A so crocodile. So yeah, we don't have alligators in Australia. We have crocodiles. Of course, it would be a crocodile. Our alligators aren't as big as your crocodiles, but they're still pretty scary. I think any scary crocodile or alligator would be someone I wouldn't want to cross. They are very frightening. And there you have it. We've got, let's take one more look at our three native Australian animals. So we have a koala bear, a crocodile, and a kangaroo. Hop, hop, with a baby in its pouch. Oh, that's so cute. I think we should give them names. What do you think? That's a really good idea, Angela. What do you think this should be? How about... Kelly the koala. Kelly, do you like that name? I yes, think it's a good name. I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. What about kangaroo? What do you think? I think we well, because he's got a she's got a baby, it's a mum. Okay. So that means it's a girl. So okay. we need a girl's name. Okay. Do you know what I'd like to call her? What? Angela. Oh, oh after you. <laughs> You're welcome, Angela. I really like your name. Oh, thank you. I like your name, too. So, what are we going to call our crocodile? Well, I'm not going to name him Louise because I think crocodiles are mean and I don't think you're mean. Oh, that's so sweet, Angela. So we'll call him Cranky the Crocodile. That is a cool name. And that describes who he is. It does. So, you know what? I think that's it for today. I think so. That's all from Kids Imaginarium. Thanks. See you next time. Don't forget, by the way, if you want to see more of our Kinder Surprise Eggs, don't forget to subscribe. You can subscribe by clicking the button below and don't forget to tell us if you like these videos in our comments. Okay, see you next time. Bye.